Welcome to the concise NetHack video about wizard mode in NetHack version 3.6.6. The concise NetCat videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. Wizard mode is a special mode of NetHack where you get free wishes. Your score doesn't count, but wizard mode is a good way to try things out with no risk. Don't confuse wizard mode with the wizard role. You can use any role in wizard mode. For example, you could be a Valkyrie in wizard mode and get free wishes. In full wizard mode, you have several new commands, such as Control w to get a free wish. You can wish as much as you want. To get full wizard mode, you will probably need to recompile that hack from the original source code. And I'm not going to cover that here, but there are online, online resources that can help. But the standard version of NetHack for Windows comes with a kind of a simple wizard mode. You don't get full unlimited wishes, but you do start with a wand of wishing with three charges and you don't have to recompile anything. Uh, in order to do that on Windows, you need a shortcut to your executable. And you, if you already have one, you can duplicate it and modify it. Uh, just in case you don't, I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut. If you launch NetHack, and you don't know where the executable is, you can run the task manager. You'll see the NetHack running uh, in one of the apps it's running. So you can just open the file location there, and you'll find the executable. There's NetHack.exe and also NetHackW for the, uh, the Windows version. I run NetHack.exe. You need a shortcut, so you right-click, and you say Create Shortcut. You want to rename that shortcut to something you understand, like NetHack Wizard Mode. And now all you need to do is change the command line parameters. So you right click it, go to Properties, and you can see the, the statement that's run here. You need to add uh, a minus capital D, a minus U, and then whatever name you want your wizard to be called. I'll call mine Tog wizard because I typically play as Tog. Save that. And now to run in wizard mode, you can run your new shortcut. Uh, now it happened. Okay, this time I'm a tourist. That's fine. And I just want to show you my, we're in non-scoring discovery mode. And if I look at my inventory here, I have a wand of wishing with three charges. So why would you ever want to do this? If there's something you want to explore and you don't want to waste time with regular characters, you can use this simple wizard mode or a full wizard mode. For example, I know that if you throw cursed daggers or knives or uh, some other weapons, you throw them enough and they'll slip and you can tell that they're cursed. Does the same thing work for larger weapons? Uh, I launched wizard mode. I wished for a cursed broad pick. I threw it 50 times and it never slipped. So I learned that larger weapons, when cursed and thrown, don't necessarily slip. That's all I want to show you for now. I hope you've enjoyed this concise NetHack video about wizard mode. Thank you for watching.